What is up guys, welcome to CJ's Vlogs and welcome to my new car. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know it's been about two weeks since I've put a video up, but um, what a perfect moment. I finally have time to shoot this. Um, I've had it for about three days already, and I've gotten used to the way it feels, you know, you know, played around with sports, Sport Plus. Um, but I'll definitely be making more videos. In this video, I'm going to tell you why I chose this and my initial impressions of why I love it so much. And then the next videos are going to be a road trip that I'm going to do soon, track days, what sort of modifications I'm going to do both aesthetically and performance wise, um, and just journey with a 235i. So this, let's start, let's start at the front actually. So uh, one of the reasons why I chose a 235i is because it has a 3 liter straight 6, you know, very classic BMW, much like the E30, much like the E46, you know, even the new M4 and M3 share this engine, their power is just different and their turbo is a bit bigger. But, 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 why I love this motor so much, it makes a great sound, you know, 6 cylinder is way better. The other choices I was thinking of was Golf R and Audi S3, but they just didn't match this engine for sound and for torque. I mean, fourth, fifth, sixth, even seventh gear pulls in this thing is insane. You know, you can be doing 120, which is like 70, 120 kph, which is like 70 miles an hour, and you just put your foot down. You don't have to even click the, the overdrive, you just, you know, put it down and you just feel that torque haul you forward. also like about the engine is its tunability you can get so much of power out of this engine and it's reliable it's strong and uh, responsive this engine on track I have driven it on track in other variants of BMWs and I just think its throttle response is so good for a turbocharged engine um, and this car also has that eco pro mode which allows for good efficiency head into the middle of the car Another reason why I thought this would be great because it has such a thick steering wheel, um, great for track driving, great for adventurous driving, but also um, I've got slightly long fingers so it's, it's nice to just wrap my hand around them. Uh, the seats are great, um, the seats do have a little bit of uh, side support, uh, the support the, on the legs aren't that great, but there's a little button down here that you can adjust the side bolsters to give you extra support which is really a cool feature also has a sunroof I enjoy sunroofs just because they give the car this sort of airy feel right so the disadvantage here is that on an S3 the screen does go back to the dashboard this stays permanently up which I have nothing no problem with but it would have been cool if the screen you know went back into the dashboard Wait. So we come around to the back and another reason to why I think this is such a great car is if we just step back for a moment, the proportions. I love the size and I love the way the front and the rear is balanced between the axle. Uh, down here is why I chose this over the other two because it's rear wheel drive. Now that's better dynamic for track, you have more exciting and you even feel it snake when you accelerate off the line which I mean you you just for a driver for a driver it's a much better feel from a rear wheel drive car because you know the front wheels are just given independence to just steer the car and then the rear just powers the car and you also kind of feel a different sort of kick 
from a rear-wheel drive car. You know, you feel like you're being punched in the back, and that just adds to the driving pleasure. And then also, what surprised me about this car, I didn't even, even look at the boot <laughs> um, before I got it, but when I did, I was so surprised that how much space is in the boot. Now, we have little Josh over here. Josh, say hi to YouTube. Hello. So he is my brother. So he's going to hold the camera. Or do you want to get in the boot? I'll get it. Josh, you are about, he's about 1.2. Josh, hop in the boot. Now, you see, Josh fits comfortably in there. You can put another one next to him and another Josh in front of him. So that means we can put three Joshies in the 235i boot. Yes. <laughs> Now, when I was deciding on a car, I thought practicality and performance, but my parents, they think that I'm young, I should have something sporty, so that's why they bought me this Tudor, which I'm very grateful for. Thank you, mom and dad. Now, I didn't know how much space the two series had in the back. Now, I am about 173, which is about 5 foot 8, and I sit comfortably in the back, I sat in the back on like a 40 kilometer trip and it was fine um, I had a friend who is about 1.9 sitting in the back of here although his head almost touched the top um, he was sitting behind me when I was driving um, he says it's not too bad for short trips which I don't mind and uh, the back seats are slightly reclined so it's a little bit easier to bear so you're not like pressed up against the front seat which is very cool So that's all I'm going to show you for now, just a basic run through, I'll be more in depth, I'll obviously be making so many more videos, mods, road trips, track days, everything. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this journey with the 235i.